Hey, it's Steve. In June 2022, all the major planets were visible in the morning sky, and so I had the opportunity to image all of them that I could. And here in this video, you'll see the results of that project. I was able to get images of Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. I did try to take an image of Neptune, but it was just too small and hard to focus on, and it just didn't really work out for me. And I didn't get a chance to take an image of Mercury because it didn't quite get above the treetops uh, from where I was observing. And so I couldn't really get an image of that planet. Um, I did, however, take a composite image of the crescent moon as well. And so you'll see that. Now, all these planets are pretty far from opposition, and so they're not anywhere near their maximum apparent size. And so if you do wait towards when they are at opposition and at their closest approach to Earth, the quality of the images does improve quite a bit as their apparent size gets bigger and it makes it easier to capture more details. And so especially with uh, Mars, which is quite a bit smaller than what it will be when it's at opposition late this year. Uh, however, even Saturn and Jupiter weren't that close to opposition at this point in time. And so the images I'll be able to get of those planets will be a lot better here coming up uh, during the late summer time period. But anyway, Sing was relatively good on this day, and so I was able to capture uh, a fair amount of detail on all of the planets. And you can see here the samples of what the actual raw video data looked like coming out of the camera as well as what the final processed images were if you are interested in how i process these images i do have a link in the description below as well as somewhere up here on the video itself showing you my imaging process but essentially i take raw video data uh, from the camera and i basically process the images by putting the raw video data into auto stacker in which i can select the best individual frames from that video data, stack all the images together to remove the, all the noise that is present because I'm doing a very, very fast frame rate. And then I can do some sharpening in Registax and other photo editing software to uh, help smooth out any remaining noise and to help sharpen the detail that's there. I also did a image of the waning crescent moon. I had to use quite a few images to stitch together to create this composite because of the long focal length of the eight inch SCT telescope and the, the field of view of the camera. It did take quite a few uh, images to actually capture the entire sunlit part of the moon in something like 10 or 12 images. And then I had to make sure I had enough of an overlap between them so I could properly stitch them together and create the overall panorama of that, uh, that part of the moon. But the end result is actually a pretty high resolution image uh, on the full image. The, the, the scaled down version here for this video is not as high of a resolution as what the raw image is. And so it does lose a little bit of the extra detail that is in the raw image, but it does still look pretty nice, I think, overall. But anyway, this was a fun event here at the during June 2022 to see all those planets at one time. This is going to be a good late summer and fall period coming up here. We have Saturn at opposition here in August. We'll have Jupiter coming up uh, this fall at opposition, and Mars will be getting bigger and brighter as well as we head through the end of the year. And so those will be great planets to look at coming up here during the next few months, especially as once they get past opposition, they become visible in the evening sky, uh, at least earlier. And it does become a lot easier to, to view them without having to be up uh, during the middle of the night or the early morning hours to, uh, to see them high in the sky. So anyway, be sure to watch for those planets. If you have any telescope at all, or even a pair of binoculars, you can see uh, the moons of Jupiter very easily with a pair of binoculars and any telescope of any size will start to show uh, a little bit of detail on those big gas giants. And you can usually see the rings of Saturn pretty easily, even with a very small telescope. So, so anyway, be sure to take a look at these planets this fall as they become more viewable in the evening sky. And that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye.